Hello, business owners. How are you doing? This is Daryl Guberman, the CEO of Guberman PMC LLC, a quality consulting firm here in Connecticut. Uh, assist companies in manufacturing quality, special processes, also ISO certificate, certifications, and all derivatives. I made my trek back from Washington, D.C., where I visited ANSI, and in front of their building at 1899 L Street, I had a nice, pleasant surprise. A Secret Service individual pulled up. He had more gadgets on him. I don't think he could run. Very nice gentleman, though. But uh, I think uh, he's a little bit overdone when it comes to all that equipment he has on him. Between his bulletproof vest, which looks like a life vest, and all these different gadgets and guns and this and that, handcuffs. And then two police officers as well. Well, let me just say this, business owners and my fellow citizens. We took care of this about two weeks before. We actually filled out the paperwork about six days before we arrived in Washington, D.C. concerning the American National Standards Institute and their new mantra called Half a Nut Fuck You brought to them or brought to you by uh, Ross Cheney, the uh, nomination chairman. Many of you will be scratching your head saying, well, Daryl, why are you doing this? Did you do this because you didn't get chosen? No business owners. It dates back to 2019. The thing about ANSI and ANAB and all the rest of these quality, uh, whatever you want to call them, they always talk about being impartial. Impartial oversight, impartiality, voluntary consensus standards, and all the rest of that hullabaloo. Well, let me tell you something. I was testing the water. We placed a document into a submission, a 54-page document, uh, had 16 letters of recommendation. I had to answer nine questions. And on the bottom of the questions, uh, my hair stood up on end because who was there but Russ Cheney? And the letter that, the little tiny note he puts in there is he says, the committee appreciates your interest in serving uh, in an ANSI leadership position and your willingness to provide us this additional information. Sincerely, GP Russ Cheney, chair of the ANSI 2022 nomination committee. Well, business owners, we also ended up to get a form letter like everybody did from uh, Joe Batia. Uh, I'm going to hold it up here. Yes, a form letter. Even Joe Batia said is, and you know what the funniest thing is? It says this, and by the way, business owners and my fellow citizens um, and my customers, I'm not a member of ANSI. I was trying to get on the board to assist them to achieve their goals because right now, they don't have any goals. The only goals they have is from Russ Cheney. I think the new mantra at ANSI is half a nut fuck you per Russ Cheney. And the reason why I say this, you're probably going like this, what's he doing? Why is he doing that? Well, I'll tell you why. Because as a representative, I've read, okay? I have read ANSI's um, code of conduct and violations of the code of conduct. I've read them backwards, forwards, and sideways. It is just like what I did when I went down to Washington, D.C. I studied the law, what it is that I could do when I'm picketing ANSI. On top of that, you look around and uh, they asked me, uh, they said, what group do you belong to? And I told them, integrity, honesty, and the truth. And all I wanted in 2019 was a little bit of an apology. An apology wasn't that much to ask for. Was it business owners? No, it wasn't. This video today is about this mess. Having the uh, Secret Service pull up, having an FBI guy walk by me, he stood out like a sore thumb. He had this you know, sweater vest on, long sleeves, and he passed once, he passed twice. And I looked at him and I said, would you like one of my cards? Would you like one of my placards that I'm holding up? Because what happens is this, business owners. By Ross Cheney saying half a nut fuck you over the telephone. And he said that because, as I've told you in other videos, you'll find it down below. I'm not going to rehash it and bore you with it. But I expose the factor that in, in 2019, I read a deposition about uh, Pamela Sale. Pamela Sale is, or is still, I guess, the vice president of um, uh, ANSI ANAB uh, laboratory accreditation. And she said this under deposition. Uh, and I had to delve into this a little bit more and deeper. She said, one of the issues that there is no commonly agreed upon set of standards for forensic labs around the country to follow. 
Instead, there are informal guidelines that labs can choose to follow or not. Basically, how can you issue an ISO 17025 laboratory certification if you don't have guidance, if you don't have something concrete? Uh, and she basically said that. And I looked further and I found out that there were a lot of laboratory issues and failures. And also, I looked and there was a, a Marvin Schechter who wrote a report in 2011, page 23 from this report. And it said, um, it said, in fact, ASCLD Lab, which is owned by ANAB, could more properly be described as a product service organization which sells for a fee, a seal of approval. Business owners, I went further and I exposed the factor of A2LA sitting on ANSI's board. Uh, I did that because A2LA is involved with our government, all the rest of that, and they sit on uh, ANSI's board by all these different uh, forensic laboratories and laboratories in general. And I thought it was, uh, uh, how should we say, a little bit uh, improper in a way. You know, you have uh, an organization like this even sitting by their accreditation bodies, okay? And, uh, you know, you have seven different registrars, you know, that are on uh, ANSI's board. You have Intertech, okay? You have BSI, NSF, NQA, TUV, SUD, TUV, Rhineland, NQA. You have all of them, uh, DQS, I mean, I apologize. So there's your seven. And they're sitting right over by their accreditation body, ANAB, that ANSI took over in 2018. And Ashley Morton, who worked for A2LA, uh, said this underneath a video that I exposed. And she said, A2LA does not uh, sit on ANSI. They're both American ABs in equal standing. What they do in quality business is, owners is called obfuscation. It's distorting things so that the average business owner cannot understand it, or even a citizen cannot understand it. And um, what happened is, is, you know, Russ Cheney contacted me. You'll find all the video, all the audio down below. And the disgusting thing is that Russ Cheney in 2018, now this was 2019 he called up, but in 2019, here's Russ Cheney with then Wilbur Ross in the Department of Commerce, where NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, that, you know, is part of the Department of Commerce, sits on ANSI's board. Isn't this cozy? What makes it even more hilarious is here they are getting an award from R Wilbur Ross because why? They sit on the same board? <laughs> so Russ called me and this is what he said. Half a nut, fuck you. And I will say this again. This is in 2019. 2022, I apply to go on the board. Why not? And all of them, from their lawyer, uh, Jameson Carroll of Carroll and Weiss uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, and also the form letter that was sent to me via, um, via ANSI from Joe Bathia, they all thought that I was a member of ANSI. I've been trying to get on the board to become a member of ANSI. So you see it again. Here he is. Do you think, human nature, do you think he's going to pick me for the board? Are you kidding me? After he said, have a nut, fuck you, which makes things even worse, business owners, because I'll tell you why. Because when he said that, I sent that off to Joe Batia. Joe Batia is the CEO. Joe Batia is the CEO of ANSI. He sent it to um, Jameson um, Carroll, the um, lawyer for ANSI. And this is what Jameson Carroll said. Now, listen below. You'll have a lot of copious amounts of uh, audio and, uh, and, and videos down below that illustrate to you what Russ Cheney said. Uh, half a nut, fuck you. And this is what the lawyer said. What is this? So, what we then can say is that all of them condone what Russ Cheney said, right? Because Russ Cheney is, uh, he is part of ANSI. As I said, I've read a thousand times over again the code of conduct and the improper code of conduct. What happens? Well, but basically, if you complain, Russ Cheney would get that complaint and also Joe Batia. Do you think they're going to do anything about it? They didn't do anything when I complained because look at what the lawyer says, Jameson Carroll. You can see it again. Well, let me give you a better copy of it so that you can get it in its full 
There it is. So, because Russ Cheney is a piece of ANSI, he's a representative of ANSI. Thus, the mantra of ANSI, because he called me and said, half a nut, fuck you, as a representative of ANSI. This is ANSI's new sign, and I'm sure it's going to be held up in New York and Washington at their facilities because there is no signs there. And there you go, right there. And then you have to look and dig deeper. They have their board members. They've got um, the membership, um, both, um, uh, you know, corporations and also uh, federal agencies. They all must approve Russ Cheney saying those words. That is their new verbiage. So when they talk about impartial, they aren't impartial. If they were impartial, number one, they would have said, wow, Daryl's not a member. Why is he applying? They do make, let me just say this. They do make special, you know, special, you know, how should we say, the gray areas. And they allow people, I have never seen anybody that wasn't a member uh, not get on the board. They've got federal agencies on the board. They've got the corporations on the board, but they don't have the small mom and pop representation on the board. Now that I've said that, they're probably going to do it. I felt that I could bring more to the table than many of those people because the federal government is kind of slow, as you know, and the corporations are large, cumbersome. But to have the smaller businesses that can interrelate and relate to those OEMs that they supply materials to many times would be beneficial. But they don't want benefit. They want this. And you know, all I'm looking for is an apology, not a written letter apology, a personal apology from Joe Bathia, from Jameson Carroll, who pretended that he was, I don't know, what is this? And also Russ Cheney. Business owners and my fellow citizens and my customers, don't you think I deserve some sort of apology? I've been looking for it since 2019. I applied to be a um, at-large director on their board. And yet, because, without a doubt, human nature goes back. Russ Cheney said no. It would have been easier for them to invite me in and do it that way than to do it this way. This is the hard way, ladies and gentlemen. So Russ Cheney, Joe Bathia, and Jameson Carroll. I shall keep on doing this. And by the way, Jameson Carroll, I understand you're a lawyer. I understand you can send me a cease and desist letter. You can whatever. But wouldn't that be a hell of a thing for ANSI to drag me to a court where I have a letter from a lawyer of 40 years that stated that federal court and state court are no more than smoke and mirrors? What does that say? Ladies and gentlemen, what does it say? I'm going to tell you again. It is impossible to comprehend the moral mischief, if I may so express it, that a mental lie has produced in our society. When a man or woman has so far corrupted or prostituted the chastity of their mind as to subscribe their professional beliefs to things they do not believe, they have prepared themselves the commission for every other crime. I thank you.